Meanwhile, the Omicron variant has brought an urgency in getting the world vaccinated. But despite this, poorer nations last month have rejected almost about 100 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccines, mainly due to their rapid expiry date. Now, according to the UNICEF, at least about 100 million doses were rejected since they were close to getting expired. Poor nations have also been forced to delay supplies because they have insufficient storage facilities, including a lack of fridges for the vaccines. Many countries are also facing high levels of hesitancy amongst people for taking the jab and have overburdened healthcare systems. The UNICEF data shows that almost about 681 million shipped doses are currently stored in about 90 poor nations and some have used fewer than half of the doses that they have received. COVAX, the global vaccine program, has so far delivered just 987 million COVID vaccines to about 144 nations. The majority of countries with a low vaccination rate is in Africa, where only about 14% of the population has received at least a single dose. North America, consisting of the United States and Canada, leads the world, where at least about 76% of the population has gotten at least one dose of the vaccine. Meanwhile, in Germany, several hundred protesters took to the streets to demonstrate against the country's COVID restrictions. Most of them were without face masks and, in fact, walked across the city of Dresden. Now, these walks do not require prior registration with the police, but current rules prohibit gatherings of more than 10 people. Die Folge war allerdings, dass wir trotzdem viele Personen hier in der Stadt unterwegs hatten, in Gruppen, durchaus auch mal 100, 150. Und immer wenn die unsere Einsatzkräfte bemerkt man, so hatte man das Gefühl zumindest, haben die sich vereinzelt, um dann eine Viertelstunde später wie irgendwo anders aufzutauchen. So dass so ein bisschen dieser Begriff Katz und Maus spielt, das wahrscheinlich am ehesten trifft. Hier jetzt am Pionischen Platz, wo wir uns jetzt befinden, ist es uns dann erstmals gelungen, auch eine größere Gruppierung mal festzusetzen, um jetzt die Identitäten festzustellen und Ordnungswidrigkeiten Verfahren einzuleiten. Italy is mulling imposing even stricter masking rules that will help it cope with the latest punishing wave of cases. The country's hospital ICU beds are also fast filling up and most of them are filling up with unvaccinated people. Now, Italy has said that the FFP2 masks have to be worn in public at all times. Perfettamente d'accordo. Perché? Perché aiutano <laughs> Meanwhile, up north, the Norwegian government has partially reversed a ban on serving alcohol in bars and restaurants. One of the several policy changes as it has relaxed COVID restrictions. The bars and restaurants will now be able to serve alcoholic drinks until 11 p.m. And these relaxations have come as hospitalizations in the country have dropped steadily for the last three weeks. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.